Okay, this one looks a little different um, because of the uh, seek it and tangent functions in here. But notice I have the odd powers, so I'm going to stick to my game plan. I'm going to take advantage of these odd powers, and that means Pythagorean identity. But before I do that, um, if I factor out just a secant and a tangent from each one of these, okay, I'll end up with secant squared, tangent squared, times secant tangent, right? And we know secant tangent is the derivative of secant. So I just know that from experience, okay? And, and that's one of the things you'll, you'll be looking out for. So just kind of watch this. And I'll go secant x times secant squared x tangent x times tangent squared x dx. Okay, so notice that's all I did was I just kind of picked this thing apart. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group these two together. Right there, I'm going to group those two terms together, okay? Okay, notice how I just, all, that's all I did was rearrange them. And what's kind of interesting is I've got I don't really have the classic lone trig function sitting outside here, but secant and tangent are a little different. And, and I really, I kind of have the same uh, type of thing as we had with uh, sine and cosine. It's just that secant's derivative has two, two uh, functions in it, okay? So what I probably want to do next is get rid of this tangent and make it look like secant, okay? Okay, and uh, tangent is just secant squared minus one. And I have a video on trig identities that's really good for all these. Now it looks like if I make a U substitution for secant, things are going to turn out okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do U equals secant. So du will equal secant tangent. And it's sitting right there in front of our noses, isn't it? So let's go ahead and we'll just go u squared, u squared minus one. And that just du after that, right? And this is gonna be equal to u to the fourth minus u squared du, don't forget your parentheses, and of course u to the fifth minus u to the third over third plus c. And by now you probably are pretty good at remembering to put the secant back in. Okay, looks like we're all done with that one. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, I don't think uh, the next one is a little bit crazy, so I'm going to save it for the next video, okay? I'll uh, see you then.